I want to show you all how I do a quick Achilles tendon scan. We get these usually from the ER, limited exams, for things like sprains and sometimes even lacerations. For this exam, I like to use the 15 megahertz linear transducer or the hockey stick, which is 18 to 24 megahertz. The amount of resolution you can get with the hockey stick is amazing. Here we got my son who thought it was a great idea to jump off a fence wearing only sandals. Uh, don't worry, he's fine. I like to begin sagittal by the calcaneus and work my way superiorly. So here you can see the Achilles tendon, the Kager fat pad, the calcaneus, and a little bit of anisotropy due to the angle of incidence from the ultrasound beam, not to be mistaken with actual hypoechoic or edematous tendon. I then begin to scan superiorly, usually focusing on the tendon and surrounding soft tissues, looking for fluid, edema, or inflammatory changes. Then I scan transversely, going up the tendon, also focusing on just the tendon and the soft tissues, including the calf muscles if there's concern for tear of a muscle or any type of muscular injury. Do a side-by-side -side comparison in sagittal, checking for symmetry or asymmetry. Also do a side-by-side -side comparison in transverse. As always, put color Doppler, look for hyperemia, which can be a sign of inflammation. And lastly, I like to do a panoramic view beginning in the calcaneus and working my way up into the calf muscles. When doing panoramics, you need a steady hand and a lot of gel, and also keep your eye on the screen. It can take a little getting used to. Panoramics like these or extended field of view are great if there's a large area of tissue that's affected or a large lesion, tumor, muscular injury, or fluid collection. So here we have an example of Achilles with somebody with pain in the Achilles area in the back of the leg. You can see the Achilles right here. The Kager fat pad is a little echogenic, so that's probably inflammatory changes with color Doppler. You can see there's hyperemia, none on the opposite side. In a side-by-side -side transverse comparison, this is right, this is left. You can see the Achilles tendon on the right is a little bit bigger than the left, and the Kager fat pad is echogenic when compared to the opposite side. This is a case of Achilles tendonitis or peritendonitis. Here we have a clip from a tendon of somebody that had an injury, a lacerating injury to the Achilles area. That's the Achilles here. There's a little bit of too much depth in this image. You could decrease that, but you could also see on this side, there was a pulsatile mass consistent for pseudoaneurysm adjacent to the Achilles tendon. Here we have another example of a laceration, a full thickness laceration through the Achilles tendon. So here's a skin surface, subcutaneous fat, and you can see this line going through the entire Achilles. And here's the same tendon with the laceration right here. On this view, you can't really see the view, the laceration going all the way through, but on other images, you can see the laceration going all the way through the tendon. And here from the Journal of Ultrasonography, we have a longitudinal panoramic image of the Achilles tendon showing some thickening and hyperemia consistent with tendonitis of the Achilles tendon. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful and stay tuned for more tutorials like this and quick tips in the future. All right, bye.